New droplet-based electricity generator, a drop of water can light up 100 LED bulbs. Creating power from raindrops effectively has gone above and beyond. An examination group drove by researchers from the City University of Hong Kong, City U, has as of late fostered a drop-based power generator, DAIG, highlighted with a field impact semiconductor, FET. Like construction that takes into account high energy change proficiency and prompt force thickness expanded by a large number of times contrasted with its partners without FET-like design. This would assist with progressing logical exploration of water energy age and tackle the energy emergency. The examination was driven together by Professor Wang Zhuangkai from CityU's Department of Mechanical Engineering, Professor Zheng Xiao Cheng from University of Nebraska-Lincoln, and Professor Wang Jung Lin, founding director and chief scientist from Beijing Institute of Nanoenergy and Nanosystems of Chinese Academy of Sciences. Their discoveries were distributed in the most recent issue of the profoundly esteemed logical diary Nature, named, a bead-based power generator with high momentary force thickness. Effectiveness of electrical energy change significantly improved. Hydropower is the same old thing. About 70% of the world's surface is covered by water. However low recurrence dynamic energy contained in waves, tides, and even raindrops are not productively changed over into electrical energy because of restrictions in momentum innovation. For instance, an ordinary drop energy generator dependent on the triboelectric impact can create power actuated by contact charge and electrostatic enlistment when a bead hits a surface. Nonetheless, the measure of charges produced on a superficial level is restricted by the interfacial impact, and accordingly, the energy transformation proficiency is very low. Schematic Droplet-Based Electricity Generator FIGN is the schematic graph of drop-based power generator, DAIG. FIGB is the optical picture showing four equal DAIG gadgets created on the glass substrate. Credit. City University of Hong Kong, Nature. To improve the transformation effectiveness, the exploration group has gone through two years fostering the DAIG. Its prompt force thickness can reach up to 50.1 with M2, a huge number of times higher than other comparative gadgets without the utilization of FET-like plan. Also, the energy transformation effectiveness is particularly higher. Teacher Wang from City U called attention to that there are two vital components for the creation. In the first place, the group tracked down that the consistent beads impinging on PTFE, an electric material with a semi-lasting electric charge, gives another course to the amassing and capacity of high-thickness surface charges. They found that when water beads ceaselessly hit the outside of PTFE, the surface charges produced will collect and steadily arrive at an immersion. This new revelation assisted with beating the bottleneck of low-charge thickness experienced in past work. Novel Field Impact Semiconductor-like Design Another vital element of their plan is a special arrangement of constructions like a FET, which is a Nobel Prize in Physics winning development in 1956 and has become the fundamental structure square of current electronic gadgets these days. The gadget comprises of an aluminum cathode and an indium tin oxide ITO, terminal with a film of PTFE stored on it. The PTFE ITO anode is answerable for the charge age, stockpiling, and enlistment. At the point when a falling water bead hits and spreads on the PTFE, ITO surface, it normally spans the aluminum cathode and the PTFE, ITO anode, making an interpretation of the first framework into a shut circle electric circuit. With the new drop-based power generator, a drop of water delivered from a tallness of 15 cm can produce a voltage of over 140 volts, illuminating 100 little LED bulbs. With this extraordinary plan, a high thickness of surface charges can be aggregated on the PTFE through ceaseless drop impinging. In the meantime, when the spreading water associates the two terminals, every one of the put-away charges on the PTFE can be completely delivered for the age of electric ebb and flow. Subsequently, both the prompt force thickness and energy change productivity are a lot higher. Our exploration shows that a drop of 100 microliters, 1 microliter equals 1 millionth liter, 
of water delivered from a tallness of 15 centimeters can produce a voltage of over 140 volts. Furthermore, the force created can illuminate 100 little LED lights, said Professor Wang. The thickness of surface charges on the PTFE film varies all through the non-stop drop impinging. Credit. City University of Hong Kong, Nature. He added that the expansion in momentary force thickness doesn't result from extra energy, however from the change of motor energy of water itself. The motor energy involved in falling water is because of gravity and can be viewed as free and inexhaustible. It ought to be better used. Their exploration additionally shows that the decrease in relative mugginess doesn't influence the effectiveness of force age. Additionally, both water and seawater can be utilized to create power. Works with the maintainability of the world. Teacher Wang trusted that the result of this exploration would assist with gathering water energy to react to the worldwide issue of sustainable power deficiency. Producing power from raindrops rather than oil and thermal power can work with the supportable advancement of the world, he added. He accepted that over the long haul, the new plan could be applied and introduced on various surfaces, where fluid in touch with strong, to completely use the low recurrence active energy in water. This can go from the body surface of ship, coastline, to the outside of umbrellas or even inside water bottles. Teacher Wang, Professor Zheng Xiao Cheng and Professor Wang Jung Lin are the comparing creators of the paper. The primary creators are Zhu Wang Huai, Zheng Huangxi, Zhou Xiaofeng from CityU's Department of Mechanical Engineering, and Lu Yuan from University of Nebraska-Lincoln. Other co-creators incorporate Professor Zhu X. Ronald from University of Science and Technology of China, Professor Michael Liang of CityU's School of Energy and Environment, Dr. Yang Zhengbao, Zhang Chao and Song Yuxin from Department of Mechanical Engineering. Teacher Deng Zhu from University of Electronic Science and Technology of China is additionally one of the co-creators. The investigation was upheld by various financing sources, including City U, the National Natural Science Foundation of China, Research Grants Council of Hong Kong, Innovation and Technology Commission, Shenzhen Science and Technology Innovation Council, and U.S. National Science Foundation. The group has recorded the innovation for a patent application in the USA and Terrain China.